Hello, I am coming to you live from the Connecticut Temple. My name is Dennis Schleicher and I am so honored to be able to do this takeover for our friends at Church of Jesus Christ's Love. So I want to answer your question. So please tell me where you're from and if you've ever been to a temple before because I'm in front of the Connecticut Temple. It's a little windy today, so I apologize. I've had papers flying around everywhere. Even my selfie lamp won't stay up. So just bear with me, but do share where you're from. And I want to see what I can do to answer your questions. Also share with you a little bit about my story, about how I became baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Do we have anybody who is a non-member on here? Because when I did a survey last night in stories, I found that we had a lot of people that weren't members of our church. So I want to answer your questions and let you know how I became a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the blessings it has being able to perform my ancestry's ordinance in that beautiful temple you see behind me as a full temple recommend holder with the church. And there's my temple card. So tell me where you're from and I would love to answer your questions. I apologize. It's so windy and noisy here. So I pray you can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Give me some hearts. All right. What questions do you have for me? So I am pretty much known for being one of the most, I guess you could say, ignorant people. I was something called a Googleologist, and I actually almost started a protest at the dedication of this temple that I'm in right now. I couldn't be more embarrassed because a few months later I was plunged and baptized. This, this temple was, was dedicated in November 2016 and I was baptized in August 11th, 2017. I also had first presidential approval to have my endowment early here at this temple, which was super exciting and such a blessing. But I am also known for stealing the Book of Mormon. Yes, I did steal scripture because I was something that we called a Googleologist. What's a Googleologist? That's somebody that goes on Google and reads all the negative stuff rather than contacting our missionaries or contacting the people at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and finding out the truth because I could not be farther from the truth as far as that's concerned. And you know what? I have to say being a part of this church and having the Savior in my life and the Holy Ghost and being a full temple recommend holder with the church has offered me great blessings and joy to bring honor to my ancestors. I'm gonna tell you a little story. I lost my brother back in 2004 from a drug overdose, my younger brother, and he was also my best friend. And I have to shut my selfie lamp because the wind's gonna take it down. Um, he passed away in 2004 from a drug overdose and to be able to perform his ordinance, not, not only here, but at Provo City Center, was one of the best blessings I could have had. And I'm glad I never started that LGBT protest of this temple. Okay, so I have to tell you something. Um, I'm a convert to the church. I was um, almost started a protest. Almost, I did steal the Book of Mormon. I'm one of the most sought after devotional speakers within the church. I travel all over the world. I'll be in Salt Lake City in June speaking to a group of people. I'll also be doing a multi-state conference for our, our young single adults in Newport Beach in Anaheim, California. But I was asked by the church shortly after I was baptized to write a book called Is He Nuts? Why would a gay man join the Church of Jesus Christ? And my good friend Al Carraway wrote the foreword. And does anybody know who Al Carraway is? She's the author, yes, I see a lot of hearts. She's the author of More Than the Tattooed Mormon. And I actually discriminated against her because people said, you need to read Al Carraway. And I'm going, I don't want to read about some tattooed woman. I don't have tattoos and I'm scared of needles. And it took me a long time to be able to read her book. But once I did, I was like, wow, I'm her brother from another mother. So do, I'm not seeing any comments at all. I'm seeing a bunch of people logged on, 
but I want to know where you're from and what questions I can answer. I do know we have a lot of people on the Church of Jesus Christ is love that is not a member of our church. So I want to see what questions I can answer for you and see if I can put you in touch with our missionaries. So let me tell you about some fun things I love to do. So I serve in the Elders Quorum Presidency. I also um, have a calling of board mission leader and I have another calling set apart by general authority where I can serve with missionaries all over the world. And nothing brings me greater joy than to be able to have that ability to be, oh, can you guys all see Moroni up there? Is that not precious? The sky is beautiful today. Okay, I'm from Utah, but Romania right now. I love you. Whereabouts in Utah are, are you from, or were you from? We have another person, Copper Brown, from Utah. I have spent nine and a half months last year in Utah doing devotionals, firesides, and book signings for the church. I love it. If you want a devotional in your area, you can reach out to me on Instagram and find out how. I do them usually at stake centers or wards. And 50% of the people who attend my devotionals are actually inactive. And the mission presidents report a 20% increase of inactive members. I apologize about all the wind, you guys. Uh, so I have a comment here. I love the temple in the clouds. Looks so pretty. Thank you so much. So you're from Maine in the DC temple. Uh, still going to have an open house for non-members. I'm not sure if we're going to have an open house for the non-members yet. It all depends on our first presidency, and it all depends on what's going on with the COVID, uh, the COVID pandemic. That's really put a damper on a lot of stuff. And you're currently from the UK, but you um, are part of the Preston Temple. And we have somebody from Thailand on. Oh my gosh, I love our friends in Thailand. So, and then we have somebody from Brigham, Utah. I've been to your temple in, in Brigham City. I love it. Also, went to, I went to 11 temples in Utah when I've been traveling. I've been to Logan. I've been to Provo. I've been to Provo City Center. I've been to Manti. I've been to St. George. Uh, Cedar City. I just love bringing honor to my ancestors. So a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions that members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints don't believe in the Holy Bible. And that's not true. We do believe in the Holy Bible. The Book of Mormon is just another testament of Jesus Christ. And I'm trying to find that the papers are blowing so bad. I had a little diagram. You know, I'm going to go live tonight and I'm going to do it from our church inside the building and I'll be able to show these diagrams much more better than because you wouldn't know I was an author by the way I just grammatically <laughs> went crazy with that. So we have another question. You are from, yes, Laguna Beach member here. Well, you'll have to come and hear me speak at the Multistake Young Singles Conference. I believe it's August 9th I'll be there in Newport. Uh, Newport Beach and also I, I can't wait I've been to the Los Angeles temple love it there so the Holy Ghost is terrific yes I cannot imagine living without the Holy Ghost and we have Lizzie says um, I love the Book of Mormon yes I do too it's another testament of Jesus Christ and I color coat mine and it has my name on it. And tonight I'll explain what that is. And I may actually even bring for you my letter of first presidential approval to have my endowment early because that's pretty powerful. I had to go, what's first presidential approval? <laughs> I didn't even know. Um, so, yes, I'm a blonde, but I have a lot of fun with it. So uh, you will be there. So I cannot wait to see you in Newport. That's going to be super exciting. Uh, I'm booking my airline ticket today. So some of my favorite quotes that I was finding in my car before I came to the temple, I have right here. I'm going to read them to you. Live your life with love, grace, and gratitude. And I do that every day. And the wind is really picking up, so I apologize. I just hope all my selfie lamps and stuff don't go away again. Um, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. I just think that is so near and dear to my heart. Uh, these were some things that I bought at Deseret Books when I was out there last time. Live your life with love, grace, and gratitude. Holler! So, 
what questions can I answer for you? I'm going to take you on a tour of the outside of our temple. We just had our temple president came out and said hello. This is the beautiful waterfall here. And there's the door that you enter. And uh, we got to take a look at Moroni up there. That's so cool. I love me Moroni. And then over here is... I'll take you to the back of the, the, the uh, temple. And I was blessed to be able to come here for a living endowment in February. My friend Casey uh, was, had his living endowment. He's now serving in the Anaheim mission uh, in Mandarin speaking. So I was so blessed to be able to attend a living session here. But back here is where um, our temple presidency's house is. And the wind is really picking up, as you can see. By the way, my hair is blowing. And let's see if you can see the side view of Moroni over there. And back there is where my temple presidency lives. And in that, that house back there. And, and the tulips are up. And it's a beautiful day here at the temple. So I am going to... Okay, so I have a comment. Uh, cool. I love to see the temple. You know, I love the temple too. So I will be on tonight at about 9.30 my time, which will be 6.30 Pacific Coast time. And that will be 7.30 um, Utah time. So if you would love to have you come back, would love to answer your questions, as I only have another 12 hours left of this takeover I'm doing for our friends at Church of Jesus Christ is Love. And I'm so grateful to be able to do that for them. So please gather your questions, send them to me in the stories, and keep, I will definitely keep you in my prayers. We have blessed underscore um, BYGod21. You are definitely in our prayers. We are all going to pray for you. All 22 of us that are on here are going to be praying for you. And if you need anything specific, if you want to speak to the missionaries, uh, I'm going to send a link a swipe up link where you can take lessons with the missionaries or you can get a free Bible or a free Book of Mormon and I will make sure that we definitely keep you in our prayers. So I just want to say I am sending love and light your way. Your name is Paul um, A-N-D-R-E then space S-E-W-E-L-L. -L. You know what? I'm actually going to submit your name to the temple right now. So I'm going to take a screenshot and then I will save that and I'm going to submit it to the temple and that way you can feel the blessings of having millions of people all over the world praying for you because we are a church of prophecy and revelation led by living apostles and prophets and everybody deserves these blessings. So if you're not a member, please reach out to us and then we had somebody say, uh, I will pray for you as well, Paul. You have a lot of people praying for you, and we are here for you. And please reach out to our missionaries, because we would love to help you. Sending love and light your way. Bye for now.